Hello, it's me, Mrs. Lewis, back with another great story. Um, we are going to be looking at our schema. And do you remember what I say schema is? Or if you're not in my class, what I say schema is are those schema folders in your brain. There are the memories, the experiences you've had, any kind of information you've collected about something goes into a, like a file folder and it goes inside your brain. And then what later on in life or later on anytime you start looking at or talking about a topic, that folder opens up and all of that information and knowledge that you have about something is there. And you either add to that something new that you've learned or you take something out maybe that you thought was true and it's false like when we learn about things in life. So for example, today we're going to be reading a book called Rotten Richie and the Ultimate Dare. Okay, it's by Patricia Polacco, which we all know she is a rock star when it comes to picture books, right? She's amazing. And what's funny is all of her stories are based on life events, things that have happened in her life. Okay, so when I read this book, I realized that there were two things happening. One... They don't get along, okay? Right, brothers and sisters? Don't get along. Two, there's a dare, okay? There's a dare happening. Now, as I read, I'm going to be pulling from my schema folder about hockey and about ballet, okay? Now, there are some French words in here that I'm totally going to butcher. Um, and those of you that have better schema about ballet than I do will know the right way to say these words. But my schema folder for ballet is pretty small, okay? It's a thin folder. So what I know about ballet doesn't match this book, but I'm going to be adding to my ballet folder with what I learned. And same with hockey. I don't know much about hockey. I've never even been to a Mavericks game except to like volunteer there to sell the chuck -a puck so that I could raise money for lung cancer research and awareness. So <laughs> I've never seen a hockey game. Some of you are going, Mrs. Lewis, seriously, you're missing out. The only schema I have about hockey is fights. <laughs> that's, that's it. And that's pretty much all hockey is, right? <laughs> anyway, so... You're going to learn, though, that my schema about hockey is pretty much what Trisha's schema is about hockey. And what some of you boys know about ballet pretty much matches the schema of our brother, Richie. Okay? So let's dive in. I'm going to read this book over three days. Um, so just a tiny bit at a time, and we're just going to chat about it. Okay? There will be some things for you to fill out. I'm on Seesaw, so don't forget to do those, okay? Let's get started. Rotten Richie and the Ultimate Dare. Now, this is super cool in the front of the book. Those are real photographs of Trisha and Richie of when this dare happened, okay? Like, he, there they are. Uh, whoops, gosh, it's reversed. Okay, so there's Trisha, there's Richie, and there's Richie's son, who is actually a hockey player. All right, and then this is like there's Richie actually trying to do ballet um here oh there is um one of those is oh yeah that's Trisha being body checked during the hockey game like okay it's like real life I love how she takes events in her life and makes them books I should totally do that I could be the next Patricia Polacco don't you think okay before I begin though I want you to think what is your schema on hockey and what is your schema on ballet? Like, what do you already know about that? And what is your schema about brothers and sisters? Okay, I'm going to create a T-chart because Mrs. Lewis is really into T-charts for some reason. I don't really know why. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to create a T-chart and I'm going to list my schema on those things. Okay, so this T-chart is going to have three sections. And we're going to have hockey. Ballet and siblings, which siblings is a fancy word for brother and sisters, okay? So here it is. And I'm literally just going to drop some things down. So you can pause the video and drop some things down on Seesaw right now. What do you know about hockey? Okay, what do I know about hockey? Fights. 
uh, ice skating. They wear a lot of uh, gear. A lot of gear. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, and penalty. There's penalty boxes. I do know that. And don't hockey players have like a lot of teeth missing? I feel like that's a thing. Missing teeth. I mean, I don't know. Perhaps that's true. Okay, so you do not have to copy what I've written down. I need you to write what you know about hockey. Okay, what do you know about ballet? Let me think what I know about ballet. Um, there's French words for the moves. I know that, like plie, relevé, those kinds of things. Um, you wear ballet slippers. Um, you wear tight clothing, like tights. You wear tights. Mm -hmm. Wear tights. That's what I got. That's all I know about uh, ballet. Okay. Again, you don't write what I write. You write what you know about ballet. And if all you know of is that they wear ballet slippers, then that's all you write. But if you know more because you're in dance, I know I have some dancers watching this, then you need to write all those cool things because your schema folder is way thicker than mine. Okay, siblings. What do we know about siblings? They fight. They are in competition with each other. Eli and Cooper. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how to spell competition all of a sudden. No, I got it. Competition with each other. Um, they love each other. It's just hard to show it all the time, right? Okay. That's all I got. Short, sweet, to the point, nothing fancy. This is my schema. This is my schema already did you know that your brains already do that every time you open a book? Every time you open a book, your brain is going, what do I already know about this? So when I looked at this book, I was like, obviously we have something happening with ballet and with uh, hockey, okay? And we have a dare and their brother and sister, I can tell, because she called him rotten. Okay, my brain already opened all of those schema folders without me even realizing that it happened, okay? So now let's read. Rotten Richie and the Ultimate Dare. Here we go. I can't remember which side is better to do this. <laughs> okay. Our mom loved us both more than anything. She always told us that. She saw to it that Richie could play hockey on the junior team and I could take ballet at Miss Barrett's ballet school. Richie had his precious old hockey team, but ballet was my life. Even Miss Barrett said I showed great promise. What I loved about ba ballet class was... Richie wasn't there. Okay, so far my schema about siblings is matching the story. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As life wasn't, as if life wasn't bad enough, having to endure my rotten red-headed older brother all summer, my mom, brother, and I had to move away from Grandpa and Grandma's farm in Union City to Battle Creek to be closer to Mom's teaching job. Now I was going to be the new kid at school. But even worse than that, my rotten brother was going to be in the same school as I was. He was the black hole in my universe. The embarrassment of my life. The frog in my punch bowl. The spider in my cereal. The wart on my cookie. The slug in my jello. The snake in my soup. In other words, this new school was going to be a disaster all because of him. I mean, he picked his nose and looked at it. He chewed with his mouth open. He spat when he talked. He made rude noises with his armpits. And odor? My rotten red-headed older brother stank. He reeked of stale bubblegum mixed with rancid peanut butter and putrid gym socks with overtones of wet puppy. Okay. You know that I love the way writers write things. And I'm going to tell you right now, the way she just described her brother and the way she just uh, described the relationship is amazing. I love it. The embarrassment of my life. The frog in my punch bowl. 
Love it. The he reeked of stale bubble gum mixed with rancid peanut butter and putrid gym socks with overtones of wet puppy. Excellent writing. So so far, yeah, schema. Schema's right there. If you're an only child, maybe you don't have that schema of brother and sister and what it's like. So you're learning now through this sweet book. Oh dear. Oh dear. At school, he was everywhere. Our first day at Fremont Elementary School, Richie put fake dog poop in the middle of the hall floor. He even poured water onto it so it looked real. Then he stood and watched as the whole school was plastered against the walls trying to walk around it. He'd struck again. Then, just as I passed, he hollered, Hey, look! There's my little sister! I wanted to die. <laughs> oh, my finger's covering the fake poop. <laughs> As time passed, I managed to make some good friends. After all, they knew it wasn't my fault to have someone like Richie in my family. <clears throat> One night at the dinner table, I was telling Mom about ballet, ballet class and our upcoming recital. I heard the mayor will be there. His daughter dances at Miss Barrett's. And Mama, Miss Barrett picked me to do the special adagio with Paul LeBlanc, I squealed. He's the best dancer in the whole school. My brother snorted and rolled his eyes. Look, Mama. Look, Mama. I do a grand tour jeté and a rond de jambe en l'air. Yeah, French, guys. And almost 36 relevés. I got up and demonstrated. Mom clapped and cheered. Aw, oh, I can do that with my eyes closed, Richie croaked. You cannot, I protested. Can too, he countered. Cannot, I screamed. Two, he said with a sneer. Well, ballet is harder than dumb old hockey any day, I hollered. Is not, he chortled. All hockey is, is skating around in circles with a crooked stick chasing a little lump of rubber. Babies can do that, I bellowed. Stop it, both of you, Mom scolded. What difference does it make, as long as you both are doing what you enjoy? All of the rest of the evening, Richie danced around me on his tippy toes, making rude sounds. Tweet, tweet, he teased. And just before I got into bed, he stuck his head in my doorway and made kissing sounds and said, Trish is in love with Paul LeBlanc. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay. Now, I had you think about your schema of hockey and ballet. So what Patricia Polacco did as a writer here, she just showed us Trisha's schema about hockey and Richie's schema about ballet. So what does Rick, what does Trisha think about hockey, guys? Let me see if I can find it. All hockey is, is skating around in circles with a crooked stick, chasing a little lump of rubber. Babies could do that. And looks like, wait, I don't, yeah. He's thinking ballet is just throwing your body around like that and um, walking on your tippy toe. Like, all the rest of the evening, Richie danced around me on his tippy toes making rude sounds. Okay. And that he thinks he can do it. And he can't. Okay. All right, I'm looking to see if I want to keep going or if this is a good place to stop. Okay, I think I'm going to read one more page and then we'll stop, okay? The next morning at school, I could hear his Weasley voice echo down the hallways. He was telling his greasy little friends on the hockey team about my doing a ballet duet with Paul LeBlanc. Then they all laughed and made tweeting sounds and danced around on their tiptoes, too. They kept it up all day. Finally, I had enough. At recess, my two friends from ballet class and I marched up to Richie and his friends on the hockey team. Oh, Richie, I cooed. If you think ballet is so darn easy, come to my ballet school. Be in my recital. I crossed my arms and waited for his answer. Richie's friends chuckled, but they were watching Richie to see what he would do. Hmm. 
is all he could manage to say. I dare you, I said defiantly as a crowd gathered around us. Richie's eyes started around nervously. Now I had him. I double dare you, I added as I drew up my nose to nose. His friend snapped to attention. They all eyed Richie. Richie just stood there, snorting and steaming at me. I triple dog dare you. With, with skin dues and two ups, I sneered. His friend reeled in disbelief. I had breached etiquette in passing double dog dare and going directly to the triple with skin dues and two, two, two ups. It's hard to read. Now there was no way out for him. He had to accept. He kicked the ground. Well, he muttered, then his eyes narrowed. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I looked triumphant as everyone cheered. Great, so now he has to be in her ballet recital. Here's where it gets really good, guys. Richie and his teammates suddenly dropped to a close huddle. They whispered for a time, then they all looked at me. On one condition, Richie leered. I'll go to your dumb old ballet classes, learn your dumb old dances, and be in your stupid old recital, but only if you practice with the team and play one game with us. His teammates glared at me. I thought for a moment. After all, I had poise, great balance, endless stamina. Ballet had given me all that, and hockey was only skating, and I loved to skate. What could be so hard about this? Remember her schema folder. Okay, dog breath, you're on. I heard myself saying, okay, twerp, our game is next week, so you'll have a week to practice. No sweat, burlap, I shot back. You'll have a month to practice for my recital. Richie got permission from his coach and the league to let me practice and play just one game. I guess it wasn't easy, but he managed to do it. I practiced hard all week. Okay, we're going to stop there. Okay, so we know their schema is very limited about each other's sports. They both think it's going to be easy. They both think they can do it. And they both think that whatever they love to do is way harder than the other one. I think they're going to be changing their schema. I know I'm already changing my schema about um, hockey. I'm a little nervous for Trisha, actually, because what I know about hockey is fights and missing teeth. She does ballet. I'm a little worried about this. I guess we'll have to check in tomorrow and see what's going to happen. Do you hear my dog? For the love. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I can't wait to meet up with you tomorrow. Don't forget to go ahead and fill in what your schema is about hockey, ballet, and siblings. And we'll see if it changes because we'll add to it, okay? You guys are awesome. I love you. Bye-bye.